this video, I'm going to share two workflows for you to create your own AI powered thumbnail. You don't need to know any designing. You don't need to know Photoshop. You don't need to know any software. You could be a YouTube creator or you could be working for a different YouTuber as a freelancer because this is one of the easiest ways to make money online. In this video, I'm going to share two different workflow. The first workflow involves flux to generate a thumbnail background and also then using a face swap to swap the face with your own character. But in the second workflow, you don't have to do that. But the second workflow involves LoRa fine tuning, which is not covered in this video. So I will link the relevant video in the YouTube description for you to see the first part. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to show you the outputs. Then we'll start with the workflow. I've got a thumbnail here. The thumbnail is um, basically just like a rags to riches story. And you can see here, like there is a poor guy um, making thousand dollars. Then there is a rich guy supposed to make hundred billion. So here the text was not rendering properly. But as you can see here, there's like a poor guy, there is a rich guy and uh, there's a background. But what I want is I don't want like this guy. First of all, this is not Photoshop design. This is completely AI design. Now, this is something that AI designs for me the first step. But in the second step, I take this and then do a face swap. So I give a photo that, OK, this is a rich guy now. And the poor guy became a rich guy. It's just the ethnicity is different. Elon Musk just looks like an Asian guy. But you get the idea what we have done in the second workflow. So I've got a Laura fine tuned, which is this is an Indian actor. So I've trained Laura with this actor. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of thumbnails, which is 5 million versus 500 million yards. So very similar, like how the Mr. Beast videos are. So you can see a bunch of thumbnails. So how are we doing it? So for the very first thing, we're going to use a flux thumbnail V2, which is already available on replicate for us to use. So you go to this link, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. You go here and give a prompt, a very detailed prompt of what you want to finally see. So I've given a YouTube thumbnail in the style of YT thumbnail. This is the trigger word. So this trigger word will invoke this LoRa, the style of this LoRa that will help you get a YouTube thumbnail as an output. See, Flux is already really good. You can try this even without this LoRa. But with this LoRa, you might get a much better result. So if you were to experiment, you can try with like the base flux. Just do it with flux. Then you can use this LoRa and then see how it goes. Then you get into the details. So first you said you want a thumbnail and you gave the trigger word. Then you say a split screen image with two contrasting life scenarios. On the left side, you have got a young man and um, describe the young man. The number thousand appears on them. Again, there are a couple of models that are really good with text. Flex is one, ideogram is another one. So here we are using flux because it's easier for us to do it within a replicate. So the number thousand appears above them. On the right side, the young man transformed into a wealthy businessman wearing a suit and glasses and smiling confidently in front of a happy middle class family with bright blue tones and a modern background. The number 100 million appears above them. An arrow in the middle connects the two sides, symbolizing the transformation. Both sides should have a realistic cinematic documentary feel. So as you can see here, it actually generated one thing it also tries to do is it tries to retain the character. So here you can see this guy and this guy has a similar attribute. So if you are creating a faceless channel, then you can just use the default photo that they have given. But let's say most people don't do it for faceless channel. Most people might be doing it for their own the channel with their own face. Like if you see Mr. Beast videos, you would usually see Mr. Beast photos across all the thumbnails. So if you want to do something like that, so first do this run. One of the things that you can change here is that we have got a batch. Um, you can see that will generate the number of images. Let me see where you generate. Yeah, the number of output images, four images here. So you get one, two, three, four. So you can pick whatever image you like. So basically you have to do is right click and then copy the image link. After you do that, go to the face swap. Uh, this is another service available on replicate. And you just paste the image here and then you paste the source image. Like for example, in this picture I've selected Elon Musk. So Elon Musk is the swap image and this is the base image. And as you can see, $1,000, 100 billion. Maybe instead of Elon Musk, I want like Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg images. I don't want the letter. So copy Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. I'm going to copy this, copy the image address, go back here and paste it here. Run this. I'm not sure if this image will show because this image is, I don't think it's in the right format, but let's see. 
Meanwhile, I'll copy another image from Wikipedia, maybe copy the image address, paste it and just check it if it is. Yeah, that's fine. Paste it here and you can click show logs to see. So the the this is right now cold, so it has to boot up and then do it. We'll come back to this later. This is our very first workflow. So I hope it is clear. So one, we use a flux thumbnails, generate everything. Then we send it to the face swap and then get it swapped. And then we have the final thumbnail. The second thing what we do is we use the same one, the flux thumbnails, but it supports multi LoRa. So if you have seen my previous videos, I actually showed a separate video, how to train your own flux LoRa. So this was a character. This is a South Indian actor. I can show you Danush Tamil actor. So you can see that this is a South Indian actor and I've already trained a LoRa on this South Indian actor, which is a Tamil actor. So now what I've done is I've taken Danush character from my LoRa and rather than creating a thumbnail, which, which, is, which is like from a default character film flux, I'm literally creating the thumbnail with this guy. So a YouTube thumbnail in the style of YouTube thumbnail, which is the trigger word for this YouTube thumbnail background with the text 5 million versus 500 million. And now I'm giving my character Danush here as the another LoRa. So this is a multi LoRa setup. So this is the trigger word for my own LoRa standing in front of a white ship and a golden cruise. Now the only change additional thing that you have to do is you have to get your uh, thumb, the LoRa where you have got, it could be on uh, replicate. It could be on hugging face. I would strongly encourage you to put all your LoRa on hugging face whenever you have got a chance. So you keep it from hugging face or civet AI. So that, that means you can do it with style. You can do it with a lot of other things. Anyways, I'm doing it with a person. So hugging face in this format, my model is here in this particular link. So I've added it to my extra LoRa and all I have to do is a YouTube thumbnail in the style of YouTube thumbnail with text. This Danush standing in front of a white ship at a golden cruise. So the first image is really good. I can very well use it. The second is also good. The third is also good. I think the final one is the only place where the image is kind of like a wide angle shot and uh, Danush doesn't look very much like Danush. There are like some physics issues as you can see here, but I think these are like really good thumbnails that I can outright use it. So what we are going to do is we're going to go back to our result here and then <laughs> see Mark Zuckerberg. There is thousand dollar to $100 billion. Mark Zuckerberg looks cute, but uh, you, I mean, it, it, it makes sense. So now I hope you understand both the workflows. Now you might have a question that, Hey, uh, the thumbnail here looks good. Okay. Uh, because the prompt is good. Now uh, you might ask me, how do I create my prompt if I don't know how to create a prompt? So that is a question that a lot of people ask. So I've got a solution for you. Go to YouTube. So I'm going to take this thumbnail, copy this link, go to a website called YouTube thumbnail grabber. Okay. And paste the link. So now you can get the thumbnail. Now copy this image or save this image, copy the image go to Claude and then paste the image and then say, this is a YouTube thumbnail. I want a very good prompt that I can share with a like stable diffusion. Here is another example. I think I should give the video also I should for for um, YouTube thumbnail for the video, this one. Okay, so here's another example. Now give the example that we have created. Okay, and um, paste it here. Now run this. So now what this is supposed to do is this is supposed to take this image, create a thumbnail for you. Okay, so it's a, uh, it's trying to give a prompt for me. So I'm going to literally copy this. Okay. I don't know the text overlay. So I'm going to skip the text overlay part and uh, go back to my image and I'm going to paste it. And when I paste it here, uh, I'm going to just leave it as it is. I'm going to just run this. Mostly I'm going to leave it as it is and click run. And as you can see, it's going to download the model and then do all the things which will take a couple of seconds. I'm going to do the same thing, but uh, not this one. I'm going to do the same thing with my Danush one. So the only thing that I'm going to do in this particular thing is instead of a man on the right side, a blonde woman is fine. Um, on the left side, let's go to the left side, left, left side, a rugged man. 
rag danush the nush okay so wherever i wanted the man i'm going to put danush that's it that's the only change i'm going to do and i'm going to run it so as you can see here we are right now creating two thumbnails one is the default one which will come with the man that is generated by flux second we are going to generate one with the lora that we have got ourselves with which in this case is danush in the first one once this is done we are going to use a face swap to make the change so i'm going to stick with mark zakabak for now so let's see how it is going to happen this takes a couple of seconds and i've used claude you can use open ai chat gpt uh, you can use gemini you can use whatever free ai that is available with you so i've got the thumbnail here so let's go compare it with uh, the mr beast thumbnail that we just got so the thumbnail has i would say like the thumbnail still has a bunch of interesting details for example it has got like a, the speckle kind of a filter at the top which is not available on the thumbnail that we got it um it's good uh, i think certain details are really good but it doesn't have uh, the speckle filter so I, if i were to take this picture i would just probably like take it put it on photo p and uh, put like a speckle filter because that seems like the only thing that is missing maybe let's try i'm going to take this okay this is done uh, let's pick this image um, I, i don't know first second third i like the first one to be honest the first one looks better i'm going to copy the image address go back here paste it here sorry clear the file paste it okay i have to upload it it seems let me refresh this just in case i've refreshed this paste it here and i'm going to stick with elon musk boot and run so i expect elon musk's face to be replaced here i don't think it is going to replace for the girl um, anyways so now as you can see here i've successfully managed to <laughs> this lady also looks danush uh, maybe we have to do a face swap here but uh, <laughs> as you can see <laughs> uh, yeah we have got two characters here that kind of missed the lore but as you can see here we have got danush uh even with the chest hair and everything so you've got all the images and uh, there is a female danush that you can use but you get the point that you can generate youtube thumbnail without without much of a fuss this is right now getting booted um meanwhile one final trick is usually whenever you get a thumbnail like this i would uh, strongly encourage you to take the picture um for example use a solution like photo p and take the picture here so i'm going to copy the picture sorry go to photo p new project go to youtube thumbnail just the final touches because i mean at least like we should do something as humans right so you keep this go to filter filter gallery then you can start adding any filter that you like filter gallery okay in my case filter gallery is not working reload it new thumbnail filter filter gallery so we can select any thumb see any effect like this so you can have something like this something like this but you can always change the level so stroke length you can change yeah and you can like probably have uh, this for a slightly lesser uh, you know uh, area so you can just leave their face and then do it for the remaining but you add a little bit of filter on top of it then your thumbnail would look uh, much much realistic so go back and see of good elon musk so let's copy the elon musk and uh, paste it here cancel paste the elon musk see as you can see here the face swap kind of like works elon musk is here go to filter filter last filter film grain this is nice uh, i think film grain is nice and also the this one is nice so i can reduce the scale of it i can reduce the stroke detail you can reduce the relief and you can see you have got now instead of having a very plastic plain image you have got some effects and uh, here you have got a youtube video thumbnail so we took um, probably less than 20 minutes um, for you to learn this but in um, be less than 10 minutes to 5 minutes you can design your own youtube thumbnail and you can start sending this thumbnail selling this thumbnail for uh, as a freelancer and then you probably can make money i guess uh, if not at least it's good learning let me know in the comment section what do you think about this kind of workflow if you have got anything else but see you in another video happy prompting